ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the fourth day of March. James Spann here, and we are promising a nice warming trend in the days ahead. Let's peek out the window this morning. We'll go from top to bottom. There's a look at the top of the state, Huntsville. The uh, sky cam there up in the uh, Tennessee Valley overlooking Memorial Parkway. Not too many people out there at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and we'll go way down south to the Gulf of Mexico. That's the sky cam at the uh, Phoenix All Suites and Gulf Shores. And how about we slip across the state line? There's the Meridian Mississippi sky cam this morning. And uh, readings are mostly in the 30s. Got some high clouds overhead. And that camp temperature's up a little bit during the night. There's a look at the high clouds spilling over the ridge to the west that's uh, shooting in there from the subtropical jet stream. Uh, so, again, some high clouds around today, but the low levels are bone dry. And there's a look at the numbers. The uh, cold spot, Gadsden at 28, Birmingham 10 degrees warmer because of the uh, mid-level clouds up there. And uh, Alabaster, the Shelby County Airport now at 35. Here's a look at the QPF chart. This is the expected rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday evening, and this is showing nothing here. All of the active weather stays uh, to the west and north. Here's the GFS, the 06Z run at noon today. Got that warm 588 ridge over Mexico. Trough moving into California, and our cold trough moving off the east coast. And all of that down below looks pretty quiet for us. Nice day with temperatures up around 60 today. Tomorrow, we will be in the upper 60s as the warming trend continues. Maybe a few showers northwest of here in Friday. Hey, we're talking mid-70s. That'll feel good. And again, uh, all of the action stays up north and even there. Not much rain. And there's the deal. Saturday, we've got that warm ridge across the southeastern states, keeping us warm and dry. Cold trough out west. Big snows out there likely for the Rockies with that deal. And uh, down below, there's a look at the surface chart. Uh, again, we're talking mid-70s on Saturday with a partly sunny sky and pretty much identical weather Sunday. There might be a few isolated showers, mainly up over northwest Alabama, but most places will stay dry. And Monday of next week, where's that front going to wind up? Well, this run places it northwest of here, the better axis of rain from around Monroe and Shreveport, Louisiana, up to Memphis and Nashville, with only a small chance of a shower here. We have seen uh, almost every type of look early next week, but this run wants to keep the rain northwest of here on Monday and Tuesday as well. Pretty good surface low comes out of the Plain States, and then finally Wednesday, a strong trough uh, with the core just north of here will drive the front through. There's the surface chart. Deep surface low up there uh, over the UP of Michigan, under well under 1,000 millibars. That looks like a blizzard for Duluth, Minnesota. And around here, maybe some strong storms with that. And then Thursday, we go dry and colder of next week. So, you know, will it rain three days? Will it rain one day? This is suggesting just one day, and that would be Wednesday. Four days later, the 16th interesting-looking trough. That looks really wet and stormy. Big old deep 1,000 millibar surface low up there near Hamilton. And then uh, three days later, that's gone. But again, uh, we are out there in the voodoo country. Something like that certainly can happen, but trying to be specific this far in advance, pretty tough to do. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.